West Approach Bridge North project is a bridge project that looks like a traditional bridge. You have concrete shafts, a column, and then girders that sit on top. So it's founded onto the ground. RH Thompson Expressway, it's very surgically, we're gonna remove each part of it, lower it down on a floating barge, pull it off, off site, and then because we're sustainable, we're gonna strip the concrete off the rebar and 100% of it gets recycled. The West Approach Bridge finalizes that 14 foot wide pedestrian bicycle path, goes through the east side project, goes across the floating bridge, and ends up right at 24th, where it connects to the city's regional bicycle path. And the little then improve, make improved connections with a land bridge for bikes and for people who walk back and forth across 520 without having to be right on Montlake. We have a temporary work bridge for the West Approach Bridge North project and allows access to, to the large diameter shafts that are in the lake from not having to use the existing West Approach Bridge. We have 99 shafts that go down into the soil and they range anywhere from 90 feet to 140 feet and they range in diameter size of 8 feet to 12 feet. There'll be a stainless steel ring around it with a flat surface and then we have what's unique are these fluted columns that come that rise up out of the water that then support the girders. And what's also unique is with those girders don't sit on the columns. It's going to sit on these things called seismic isolation bearings. And that allows the five different spans of the West Approach Bridge during an earthquake to move back and forth together. And then when the earthquake stops, wherever that is, we're able to jack those things up, center them back down, and layer it back down. You have to worry about in this location endangered salmon that swim between April and September that run right parallel with this bridge. So that means there's no impact hammering. That's what we use to drive the thousand piles for the temporary work bridge or for the widening that we have. So between the salmon and uh, all the aquatics, so we have to make sure that we maintain water quality standards. We're gonna repurpose the existing 24th Street Bridge to be a westbound off-ramp to Lake Washington Boulevard. And in the ultimate configuration, both of those off-ramps will exit over by Foster Island on a single lane off-ramp that will then split. One goes to 24th Street and the other one goes to Montlake Boulevard, where what drivers will see differently, instead of a slip ramp to the north, there's gonna be a stoplight at the end of the ramp, which makes it safer for people who walk, for people who walk their dogs and bicycles. The West Approach Bridge North project will be functionally operating the summer of 2017. That's when the first cars are going to drive across the floating bridge onto the, the new West Approach Bridge North project. It will improve transit reliability, it will improve HOV reliability. When this project gets finished in 2017, and it's just the first of several more projects in the Montlake interchange area. They're all designed for 75 years.